All right, we have a lot to catch up on. So I failed my daily uploading challenge. Entry and Ben arrived in Australia, had dinner with them. I then picked up Evan from the airport. We then all attended the Sydney Yo-Yo Cup, the only contest in Australia that's been held for like the last three years. My dad competed, so did you, and Alan won the contest, which pretty much gets us back here. So. It's a busy time at Offset Yo-Yo right now. We're frantically fulfilling the Outlier 3 pre-orders. So to increase some of our production capacity, in addition to Alan, who you guys all know and love, we hey. also have Hugh. What's up, guys? Oh yeah, check this out. We also got a bunch of like standard strings here. Everything is moving at Offset Yo-Yo World. Now I remember when I used to be like a sponsored yo-yo player and I would talk to like the owner of various yo-yo companies and whenever someone would try to like make me like a signature yo-yo they would say this phrase that yo-yo can't be made. Now as I graduated and eventually owned my own yo-yo company I realized that that's not an absolute statement that it, it kind of falls along a spectrum. On the worst end of the spectrum there really are yo-yos that actually can't be made. Then you have like the beginner conservative designs which are always pretty much smooth, then you have everything in between. Now in that instance, what they mean is that it could be made, but if they were to produce it, there would be a lot of vibey ones that would likely not be super profitable once you scale it up. And hearing that explanation always used to frustrate me because once you get to a certain level, it's the little things about yo-yos that makes them special. Now the yo-yos that are really good, that aren't smooth right out of the gate, there's a way to fix that and uh, <laughs> it's called half swapping. I've heard of that before. <laughs> Now once yo-yo companies transition from being a boutique yo-yo company to being a slightly larger yo-yo company What tends to happen is the designs become more conservative and then they can churn at a higher scale Now maybe I'm just an idiot, but that's a tough pill for me to swallow I don't really want to like give that up just yet. Let's talk about the outlier 3. This is an extreme design Most yo-yo companies, they wouldn't produce something like this. Oh, I think this is the first semi-smooth one Nah we also have pretty high standards here for smoothness, so... Now if we switch to a customer perspective, Outlier 3, banger freaking yo-yo, this thing is like, OP. Like, look at how much of that rim weight protrudes out from the aluminium. We made it way more aggressive than the Outlier 2, which kind of just only bubbles out and rounds out here. With the amount that this protrudes out, it gives it an insane amount of power, but also gives it an insane amount of stability. Next, look at how many cuts the Outlier 3 has on its body. This is designed to make the shape wider and also make it more comfortable in the hand. Also, when it comes to the body of the yo-yo, the Outlier 3 has less aluminium as in relation to the amount of stainless steel. That's why we have that little axle nub to make sure that the axle can like safely stay there and it's not gonna break randomly. So from the consumer perspective, the Outlier 3 is, is undeniably better than the Outlier 2. It's more powerful, it's more stable, it's more comfortable in the hand, and it's lighter. Now when I saw the Outlier 3 specs and the factory saw the Outlier 3 specs, they're like, yeah, like this isn't gonna be made. Like if yo-yos could be made like this, they would be made like. For what it's worth, we tried a weight distribution like this. We tried it on the Aberrant. The Outlier is even more extreme than that, right? And this yo-yo didn't work. But when we tested the Outlier 3, it worked. So that means that this yo-yo can theoretically be made. The only real way you are able to make a yo-yo like the Outlier 3 that is smooth is you have to just half swap a bunch of them. Which is what today's vlog is going to be dedicated in its entirety to. It's good. Oh. Why do you say it's good? It's saying not bad. That's beautiful. Yeah. You're gonna deal with these ones. I'm gonna have to deal with these ones. And then what? You're gonna have to deal with the greens. Yeah. Half swapping in its entirety today. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the half swapping as well. This is all of the blues. I'm in charge of the blue. Dude, these are so Dude, bad. I told you, bro. That's right. what I'm saying. <laughs> what the hell? gonna get this one but my god this is smooth oh Q is leaving yep how was your uh tuning day all right so that's uh that's where we at with you Alan's still gonna be here for a little long fade
we go. Whew. These ones, these were kind of smooth out of the gate, but everything else here had to be screwed and unscrewed. Oh, I'm tired. How are you feeling, Alan?